What's up YouTubers, Fitchy here and welcome to today's video. So today we've got ourselves another Hidden Fates tin, another, another Gyarados promo. Let's get into it and see what this tin can hold us. Literally, got Gyarados tins. Everything else is gone. I don't know why Gyarados is the least favourite. I know why the Charizard is the most favourite, but poor Gyarados. What's wrong with Gyarados? A, it's an awesome looking promo card, which we can sit to the back there. But yeah, anyway, I've lost my train of thought now. What was I saying? Hidden Fates, Hidden Fates packs. We've got Mewtwo, we've got Charizard, we've got the birds and we've got Mew. Let's see what this Hidden Fates tin, struggling to get my words out here, can hold today. Um, the tins have been really good for me recently, so I'm hoping that this continues with today's pack opening video. Anyway, there is the first Hidden Fates code card and the first shuffle. Let's start off with some fire, or fairy, should I say. Misty's Determination, a Scyther, a Jinx, a Jigglypuff, a Staryu, an Ekans with Articuno flying around in the background, an Eevee, is it reverse time? No, it's not. Pikachu, reverse is Koga's Trap, and behind that is a Zapdos Holographic. So, can't complain with a Legendary Birds from the Birds pack. Anyway, on to the Mew Pack next. That I'm hoping is gonna pay out for us. But let's see, let's do the code card for you guys there. I'm predicting either a full art shiny or a gold card. Anyway, water energy, don't know why. Lieutenant Surge's strategy, Misty's determination, Scyther, a Geodude, a Cubone, an Eevee, a Clefairy, a Zyduck, reverse time. Ah! Ooh! Talk about predictions. Tapu Coco GX. Go, baby. Let's see what's behind it. A Golem non holo, but who gives a damn? Okay, Tapu Coco, how are you looking? You're looking off center to the left, but who cares? It's a gold card. It's getting slightly off center that way, but I'll take it any day of the week. Tapu Coco can go to the back and we'll move on to pack number three, which is Mewtwo, my man, my favorite Pokemon of all time. Let's see what we can get from him. Anyway, there is the first code card. First code card, see, again, not doing well today. Third code card and the third shuffle. Let's go for a hmm, water energy. It's fighting a graveler, a far-fetched, and doesn't he love that leak, people? Misty's Cerulean City Gym, a Clefairy, a Jigglypuff, a Caterpie, a Paris, a Zyduck, Brock's Grit is the reverse, and behind Brock's Grit is a Pinsaur GX. Again, well and truly off center. I don't know if they rushed this second wave of Hidden Fates out, but I've yet to see a really well-centered card, but hey-ho, it is what it is. Let's move on to the Charizard pack, the last pack. And I hope for some last pack magic. Okay, let's try and get into this pack. There we go. All right, so final code card for you guys there and Let's go for fire again. Nope, Metal Energy. Sabrina's Suggestion. A Pokemon Center Lady. A Metapod. Ekans. Caterpie. Paris. Charmander. Clefairy. Hey, that's, that's not bad. I'll take a Reverse Grass Energy any day. And behind that is Mr. Mime, looking awesome, but it's a non hollow Anyway, the big hits from today, Pinsir GX and the Zapdos Hollow, and then the big card, that Tapu Coco GX. Don't know how much this card is worth, but I will put the price on the screen. 
and I love that texture. That is absolutely awesome. Anyway, thank you for watching. Hopefully, I'll be back with some more Hidden Fates if I can get my hands on it. But I'll catch you all next time. Bye-bye.